Today on Two Crazy Kiddos, we're going to try Cereal School. Saturday morning is back right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Kitas. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Kitas, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So today, I'm super excited about this one. We're going to review the Cereal School. I am so excited about these tasty treats, and we've got a variety of flavors. Yeah, so um, this has been out for a little while. I know for a long time you couldn't get it. It was constantly sold out. And uh, finally, uh, the company reached out to us and they were like, hey, do you want to try it? And I'm like, absolutely, I would love yeah. to try it. I've heard really good things about it. Uh, we have a few different flavors here, but I'm going to tell you, without even looking in the ingredients or anything like that, the one thing I'm immediately liking about this is... Individual servings. Individual servings. Because most of the cereals come in a bag or a box or something like that. And, you know, the bottom line is a serving of cereal is generally like, what, a half a cup, three quarters of a cup, two thirds of a cup. Don't you mean half a box? I know, right? Shouldn't it be half a box? And if you give me a box, I'm going to eat the box. I'm going to take my bowl. I'm going to mound it up the way I used to, regardless of the amount of servings. But when it's in a bag... I'm going to eat just the bag. I'll dump it in a bowl or I'm going to eat it as a snack. So for me, I may eat the individual serving, but then I'm going to feel really sad because I have this giant box and just a little bit coming out of it. Right. So for me, seeing this, I get everything that's in this package. I don't feel deprived. I love it. All right. So let's go over the flavors and then we can get this big box out of our way that we're using to hold this up. I've got fruity. Mm -hmm. What else do you have? Cinnamon bun. And we've got berries. Peanut butter, which I'm honestly most excited about. Then we have cocoa. And cookies and cream. And cookies and cream. So let's move this box out of the way so we have a little bit of room. So the way we're going to do this, we're going to do our five things review. Um, but since we have six different flavors, I don't know which flavor I want to review. All of them. So I'm thinking, yeah, we're just going to we're gonna have a little bite out of each one. I think they're shaped like balls. <laughs> and then we'll take uh, one flavor and we'll put it in a bowl and have it with milk. Gotta like you would have a traditional cereal. What are we gonna try first? Okay. I wanna end on peanut butter, so I don't really? care about starting. Peanut butter. That was my jam. Okay, well, let's start off with fruity. Is that fruity? This is fruity. Okay. Okay. Ooh, wow. Does it smell fruity? Wow. Oh my lord. It smells like Fruit Loops. It smells like a... I just want to make that the air freshener in I, my car. I was just about to say, it smells like an air freshener from a car. Take a few of those. They, there's a couple of different colors. You got red and orange. Okay. So, wow, that is smell-o-vision. I don't know if that's going to focus, but... Wow. Yeah. It's kind of got the crunch of Fruit Loops. It definitely has a crunch. And I feel like what I'm tasting is what I'm smelling. Not necessarily that the taste is there, but the smell is so like, wow, it's telling my senses. Now the one thing. This tastes like fruit. I am gonna say, I'm gonna try another one. I do wanna try another one. But my the flavoring up. seems to be on the outside, but yeah. when you get to the inside. There's nothing there. It's the outside. It reminds me of like the original recipe for the shrewd food protein balls. Yeah. Where it was on the outside. So I kind of feel like you're not going to want to eat one at a time because then you're going to get fruit and then Nothing. protein. Whereas I think if you put a couple in your mouth, you're going to get constant fruit. If this makes sense. Yeah. Because you're going to get the explosion of fruit from the one. And then when you, by the time you get to the middle of the one, the fruit Chase from the from other the one is coming. Does that make sense? Yep. You're going to want to eat them like one. And if you drink them with milk, eat them with milk, you better drink that milk. Yeah. Be wasting the flavor. Fruit is good. Uh, Let's try it. We have berries, but we'll kind of intersperse them, right? Yeah. So we'll go cinnamon bun. Cinnamon bun. Oh, we didn't smell. It smells like cinnamon, cinnamon bun. bun. Mm. 
Wow. That tastes like cinnamon bun. Yeah. It's, it's like a maple leaf. It tastes like cinnamon cream. Yeah. It's like a cream flavor. A cinnamon maple cream flavor. Good. Mm, nice. Very nice. Good. Again, like you're saying, if you eat them, like... Like, I just put three in my mouth at the same time, so it was always a cinnamon flavor. Yeah. But if you do one at a time, I'm going to try it with a different flavor. But let's go berries. I want to test your 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 uh, hypothesis with this. Oh, my gosh. Frankenberry. That smells like a scratch and sniff sticker that I had as a little kid. Okay, so take four. Okay. One after that. They're purple. They're purple. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Put them all in your mouth at the same time. It's always the fr flavor. Well, I'm doing it one after the other, but yeah, by the, by the time I'm done with one. But if you just do one, the next one's and then working. As you're going to get the berry flavor, and then it's kind of like a plain protein kind of flavor. To me, the berry tastes like bubble gum. Hubba, grape hubble Not bubba. my favorite so far, but it's got a good flavor. Not in a bad grape. Not grape, like a bad grape. Right. But like grape bubble gum. Cocoa or easy cream? Cocoa. Cocoa. I feel like these are the ones I'm most excited about. I don't know. Mm. It's definitely chocolatey, but I was expecting like cocoa puffs and it doesn't smell like it cocoa smells like puffs. Swiss Miss cocoa drink. So I'm telling you, put more than one in your mouth at the same time. No, it tastes like Cocoa Puffs. Cocoa Puffs. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Chocolate milk nope. flavored. Nope. Cocoa Flintstones. Yes. Cocoa, Cocoa Pebbles. Fl Cocoa Pebbles. That's what it tastes like. Cocoa yeah. Pebbles. Mm-hmm. Cocoa Pebbles. That's funny. Same texture as Cocoa Pebbles. Same flavor. Only it's actually more rewarding because Cocoa, like the... The pebbles are so, so tiny. Right. Don't open things with your teeth. I know. You say that all the time. And when then we just do it. Ooh. Now that smells like Cocoa Puffs. Oh, man. That smells this good. This is cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. That's chocolate and marshmallows. That's Cocoa Puffs. That is good. That's Cocoa Puffs. Mm -hmm. Wow. Cookies and cream. Really good. That might be my favorite one. Cocoa. That's really good, but let's see what you got, peanut butter. Let's peanut see butter. what you got. Ooh, you're, gonna, you're, you're taking this one to the milk. Okay. So let's do a bowl. Unfortunately, we don't have glass bowls. That is something we need to purchase. We glass have got bowls. to purchase so that glass you can see bowls it. for this channel. Okay. Mmm. Okay, obviously it doesn't fill the bowl, but that is a decent serving. That is a decent serving. And the fact that I get the whole bag makes me feel really good. Peanut butter Captain Crunch. That is peanut butter smelling. Okay. Yeah. We are, I forgot a cup measure. Wait, I want some before you you put it no. in. No. Yep. Wow. Okay. Peanut butter Captain Crunch. I forgot a cup measure. So we're going to use the Calvia Farms toasted coconut. Mmm. Just kind of do enough to maybe start to get it to float. Oh, wow. That tastes That's good. probably about a half a cup there. The peanut butter. I'm a peanut butter girl. Are you a peanut butter girl? Like, I'm totally a peanut butter girl. Let us know down in the comment section what was your favorite flavor cereal. Yeah. Yeah, you got to mix it. Got to dunk them. Okay. Dink. That's good. Tastes like cereal. That is good. I want to let it sit for a minute and see how soggy does it get. I want to eat this. That's good. Wow. Okay. Now... I don't know what the ingredients on this are yet. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you my opinion. Yep. My opinion is not as everybody else's. No. We've tried three cereals. We've tried this one. 
We've tried Magic, Magic Spoon. Magic Spoon. And we've tried Catalina Crunch. Yes. This is the most like traditional cereal I've had. I would agree with that. I would absolutely agree. This is much more like I remember cereal being. And again, I don't know. It could have totally wonky ingredients. I don't right. know at this point. But as far and, as like what I remember, and I was a cereal person. Right. This is the most like a cereal. This is one, again, usually when we get these cereals, whether we're reviewing them or they come in our boxes and yep. our keto crates and stuff, we do like to just um, use them as toppings on our granola, uh, toppings on our yogurt or toppings on ice cream. And usually because I would eat this one as a cereal. I would eat this one as a cereal because yeah. Just as a treat. Usually there's something a little off about the other cereals. I, I want it. I seriously want to That eat this. makes you think I can't just eat it like cereal cereal. I need to use it in some other And it's form. not getting still got a crunch. Can you hear that? It's sitting in the water. It's not getting soggy. I'm impressed so far. Okay. So five things. Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? So Number one. We're gonna take a look at peanut butter. I'm sure they're pretty much all the same. The ingredients. Milk protein isolate. Okay, so it's using, it's basically protein powder. Okay. Peanut flour, high oleic sunflower oil, peanut oil, tapioca fiber, salt, and monk fruit. Pretty good ingredients. I mean, obviously they're using high, they're using sunflower oil, but I do like the fact that it's high lake. It's a little bit healthier. Um, but that's for the peanut flavor. What are they doing for other Okay, things? so I'm looking at cocoa, milk protein isolate, high oleic sunflower oil, cocoa, uh, monk fruit, vanilla beans, salt, and natural flavors. Okay. Uh, milk protein, this one is berries. Milk protein isolate. High oleic sunflower oil, tapioca fiber, natural flavor, vegetable juice for coloring, monk huh. fruit, and salt. That's interesting. Fruity. Um, same ingredients. They're using paprika extract for color here and beet juice for color. That's kind of cool. So uh, overall, I mean, they're pretty much all the same ingredients. Oh, I see you sneaking them over so, there. So ingredients, not super bad. Yeah. I mean, they're protein. Again, you know... Sunflower oil, it's not going to be a lot. Uh, I'd probably give the ingredients like uh, 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10. Like not the super, 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 super cleanest, but not bad, especially as a little bit of a treat. So Yeah. Number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? Let's see. I'm assuming it's going to be high in protein. Does it have 75,000 total carbs? Serving size, one bag, which is 22 grams. Okay. 100 calories. 30 calories from fat, 3 grams of fat, 16 grams of protein, 1 total carbohydrate. No, they do not have 1 total carbohydrate. 1 carb gram of dietary fiber. So it is high in protein, which yeah. I'm expecting. It's made out of protein powder. But 1 total carb? But 1 total carb, 1 gram of dietary fiber. I like that. I I'm like speechless. I really like that. I am absolutely speechless. I really like that. So this is really something that I could use on the regular you could use it on the regular wow I, I really like the one carb the one carb for me beats the, the it kind of gets rid of the sunflower oil like, again not a huge fan of sunflower oil my feeling is we say we talk about it all the time i try to get that stuff out as much as possible it's it's going it's always going to enter you somewhere if you're eating anything yeah. other than straight meat that kind of stuff um but it kind of negates that. I'd rather have the sunflower oil but only have one total carb than have 15 carbs but not have the sunflower oil. I, I gotta tell you, I thought going into this, this was gonna be like 22 total carbs and 15 grams of, you know, fiber. Yeah. So I'm super excited. Super impressed. Number three, how does it taste? Surprisingly I'm awesome. back in. Yeah, well, the mouthfeel, and again, we, we have been letting this sit. Mm-hmm. It's not growing soggy on you, so it actually beats Frosted Flakes like right from the get-go. Okay. As you say that, now that it's been sitting while we've been doing this, outside's got that little bit of where it's absorbed some milk, but the middle is still got the crunch. So this is where you like it, right? You never wanted cereal, like as soon as you put it in the bowl, you wanted it to get a little wet. A little soft on the outside. But it was finding that, like, like I remember as a kid, I ate life. Life was my favorite was like, it life? treat cereal. I always liked life, 
But life was one of those ones like you had to. Ha there was and and corn not cornflakes like uh, uh, cocoa. Um, the ones that are like cornflakes. Are we were playing chocolate. charades? The ones okay. that were what were those? Cocoa Krispies. No, the, well even those. Anyway, there was always that perfect moment, right? Left it in there too long. Frosted flakes like the cocoa frosted flakes. Left it in there just one second too long, it's and done. it was like ugh, frosted flakes. There was like a clock that started a countdown the moment, right. like and don't go to the bathroom. That's what I'm getting at. You got to be right there at that moment. So I like the fact that it takes a little bit longer here because you do want to absorb a little bit of milk, but you still want to crunch. But the flavors are true to form. Now, I was always somebody that leaned toward a chocolate or a peanut butter cereal. So the fruit and the cinnamon, they taste great, but I'm, I'm naturally going to lean towards chocolate you, and peanut butter. If you take another bite there, I'm kind of impressed. Like obviously some of the flavoring is uh, dipping out into the milk, but you're still getting, no, wait, don't do that yet. Don't do that yet. Wait, I'm, we're gonna do something better. <laughs> you're still getting flavor in the cereal. Yeah. So I'm kind of impressed. Well, I am really impressed because like I said, eating it on its own, it feels like it's on the outside, okay. so I kind of expected it to be gone by now. The ultimate test. You had to do that, right? Well, of course. That, that's what you did with cereal, right? You drank the milk that all the sugar water was. I have to say. It's pretty good. It's very good, but it, it's mostly sticking to the cereal. The cereal, yeah. it's That's why I, was, I wanted to see it. Like, you know, you used to get those traditional cereals and all of the flavoring ended up in the milk, milk. and not on the cereal. It's still on that cereal. It's still on the cereal. Okay. Number four. Here's the one that we don't like talking about. I'm bracing How myself for this. How much they talk about? How much did they cost? And uh, again, I hate talking about cost on keto products, but I do feel it's important. That's why it's part of the five things. But most keto products are generally higher in cost, not because they're trying to capitalize on keto. It's the ingredients. Give a little bit of a milk mustache. Oh, so they're trying to capitalize. They're they're just using good ingredients. And it costs it more. So. Okay, so I have their website up here. We have a few different options. So they have bundles. So you can get four flavors of 48, which happens to be sold out right now, so I don't know how much that bundle is. You can get a two flavor bundle of 24 bags where you can choose two different flavors. All right. And if you do it that way, you're gonna pay $2.08 per bag. Oh, for so each bag is $2.08. Yeah, it's $50 for 24 bags. You can also do subscribe and save where you're going to save an additional 10% and that would bring it down to $1.91 per bag. You got to know you like it though. Yeah. Then they have a one flavor bundle of 24 bags which is going to be the same price. So it's 49.99 for 24 bags or subscribe and save is 49.8 or 45.88 dollar 91 a bag. Then you can do the one flavor for 12 bags and this is going to be the most expensive option. It's $2.50 a bag. It's $30 for 12 bags and uh, the subscribe and save would be 26.99 making it two and a quarter a bag. So definitely get the variety pack, I would think. They anyway. also give you your option of every 30 days, every 45 days, or every 15 days for the subscribe and save. All of them give you the same discount. So if you had to get one flavor and you're buying it, what would you get? Oof. Um, oh, I don't know. I kind of have to try them all with milk, but that cookies and cream. Let Can we put the cookies and cream in this residual milk here? I just want to see, yeah, how does it do in milk? Because I'm, I'm the same I, way. I'm going to say, I don't know, this peanut butter was really good. I, I'm going to tell you, well, we can get into that. Would we let recommend it? Let it have a second. It? Let, it, let that sit. I did want to say, and then we'll get into number five. There is a thing on here. It says 14-day risk-free. If you don't love it, you'll get a full refund. And you can cancel like your that. subscriptions at any time. I like that. So kind of like risk-free guarantee. Okay? Try it. Number five. Would we recommend this? I would absolutely recommend this. If you have kids in your life, grandkids, let's get them off the sugar 
but not have them have to like be deprived of cereal in their childhood. I would honestly this absolutely recommend this. And I don't think we've recommended any of the other ones. We've said they're all good, but we don't purchase the other ones. They come in a keto crate. I'm going to want these. And honestly, like the, the magic spoon comes, we give it to our nephews. We don't yeah. even eat the magic spoon because I'm not a huge cereal person. And the serving size feels like I'm deprived. I like this bag. I'm, I'm thinking like taking these to the movies and stuff. So... But I'm like you though, I kind of want it with milk. My recommendations, number my number one, cookies and cream. My number two is fruity, kind of like Tide. And then number three would be peanut butter. And that's as far as flavor. Wow. That's good. Cookies and cream. My favorite though is peanut butter. But I am a peanut butter girl. I liked peanut butter toast crunch. I like the peanut butter Captain, um, What's his name? Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch. Yep. I don't know why I had a mental blockage there for a moment. But that, those were my jams. Like, And this really actually tastes like those peanut butter cereals. Yep. So Absolutely. I, I'm I really, love it. Really, really enjoyed this. I want to thank Cereal School for sending this to us. Because, yep. again, they sent it to us. We did not purchase it. Absolutely incredible. There is a link down in the description if you're interested in getting it. Wouldn't this be great for a sleepover or a birthday party or something like that to give out as an, a sweet treat? Yeah. But not like with all a bunch of wonky ingredients to kids. Yeah. A little bit expensive, but overall, I think it's absolutely worth it. Yeah. Let us know down in the comments section if you've ever tried Cereal School and let us know what your favorite flavor is. Yeah. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.